Oh, and look at this. And now badass Jamie Heineman is out on the outside of the chair. Look at this. Put the footage of on the attack here. And as you can see, Spike in the corner. Absolutely nothing on his, his teammate to take apart Adam Savage here. Obviously, they want to weaken him going into Penn and William. Now that Adam Savage is going to be on Full Killer's team, it seems. Oh, that's, oh my! A giant swing, vintage fourth dimensional full killer, and Jamie Hyman steal that steel chair, puts it down, positions it. Oh no, please. Oh, I thought he was going to do something a lot worse, but nonetheless, it's still this 2 1 beatdown. Spike is still motionless to what's going on. Oh my, here's what I think it was. Oh my! And he would sit down, power bomb right on the steel chair. He calls out the badass bomb. And undoubtedly, obviously, Spike is not in his character to take part in these beatdowns. Obviously, why he's out on the outside doing absolutely nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Now Spike taking it somewhere else. Oh, here comes Mitch in full killer. And look at this. Mitch taking down Spike on... I guess totally for all about full killer there. As you see now, these two men, these two men wanted to fight. You know, ever since, right before, right at first, finally, finally getting a chance to come to blows here, right here and now. Spike. Taking on the outside, taking out Mitch, but still back to the action the inside here. The regular Fool Killer's made it in the rings, but still has that still chair. Just did that Van Fool Killer Nader. Finally, for the first time since claim to fame, since Fool Killer and Fool Killer made his presence felt in the UWA. For the first time, Fool Killer's finally getting the upper hand on Fourth Dimension Fool Killer. This Mitch now saying tall over Spike. This could be a prelude perhaps of what we're going to come up to see at Pandemonium in that full killer versus full killer tag team match. And, uh, oh my, again, Jamie Hyman with that badass bomb on the former teammate, his former co host Adam Savage on Mythbusters. And look at this, wait a minute. This was badass Jamie Hyman do, do attitude adjustment. And you just saw Full Kill hit Fisher, the killer of fools. And look at this now, Full Kill Adam Savage leading the ring with... And now Spike coming back. And there you have it, folks. These two teams are going to face off. Of course, Mitch and Adam Savage representing Full Kill 99 looking on. And they take on the team of Bass and Hyman and Spike representing Fourth Dimension Full Kill. And whoever team loses... That full kill will be banished from UWA for good. And as you see, these teams put it against each other. Pandemonium is going to be a must see for the court at Pandemonium, undoubtedly. But for sense of we're going to get another camera back to the parking lot. Let's go. Oh, oh, look at this. Away with that. Look at this, folks. Obviously, you know, we all know who's, whose feet that was. I guess he's getting to his limousine and leaving the arena. Whatever that man was, it looks like he completed his task of mission, whatever that might have been. Who knows, but wait a minute, looks like the one man, Nate Punk, who's coming out here. Yeah, we all know whose feet those belong. We all know who that was. Let's check on that later. Of course, he's the enormous champion, Bon Creek. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. And it's for the No Limits Championship. On whose way to the ring. Representing the Nation of Violence, he is the current No Limits Champion from Los Angeles, California. He's the One Man Mission, Von Creed. And y'all know right now, Von Creed is settled to face Mitch Waters in the No Limits Championship. And this is I'm wondering, I'm surprised Mitch Waters didn't just stay it in the ring. Knowing that this is Matt that going to be next. I guess he's wanting to get his engine in. Of course, we all saw in the last few weeks, of course, in the SO45 or something, that huge 5 in order to go elimination battle world that turns the order in which people get a shot at the No Limits Championship. And a lot of people were saying, even though Vicious was first eliminated, he was actually rewarded with a shot at those five pandemonium. Of course, it was Von Creed, five and more like, let's make him wait as long as possible. Because obviously, uh, ever since the longest time, we've seen Von Creed throw Vicious through, through so many loops and obstacles just to get a shot at Von Creed and his No Limits Championship. But he's going to get a shot at pandemonium if he's facing either Mitch or Von Creed.
Now introducing his opponent. He is the challenger from Houston, Texas. He is the chosen one, Mitch Larson. In episode 45, we saw Von Free defeat Spike. In episode 46, we saw him defeat Fourth Dimension Full Killer. In episode 47, we saw him defeat Guy Fieri in terms of the shortest title match in eBay history with the assist from Vicious, which is all a huge surprise to us. But tonight the question is, will Vicious insert himself in this match? If Vicious has stated already, and he'll do whatever he has to do to make sure Von Creed kills off that Nolimus Championship going into pain and because he wants to face Von Creed more than Mitch. Of course, Mitch, you know, he gave Vicious his two cents last week, saying that if Vicious truly wants to become or compete for Nolimus Championship, he will face whoever the better man may be, whether it be Mitch Watterson or Von Creed here tonight. And so far, so in the support this night, we haven't seen any sign of vicious whatsoever. And there's the bell. And Mitch starting to think off that huge clothesline there. But don't forget, folks, Mitch was one of the, who would say Mitch was one of the greatest known as title so, champions so far because he took on all comers. He had the, all those great matches, you know, with the likes of the badass Jamie Heineman. And obviously a lot of people thought that was like a historic, such a great match those two men had at Square Despair. And as we all know, Mitch will get a chance to face badass Jimmy Hyman again. You know, at a, a pandemonium, a huge tag team match, and it could be for the Nomas Championship if Mitch Watterson is victorious here tonight, because he could quite possibly, if he wins the Nomas Title here tonight, he could possibly have to put on the line twice. He's going to be that tag team match as well. Yeah, definitely indeed. Mitch Larson's got a lot here to prove. Not here just tonight. Then go on a couple weeks away. If you were to win, as you said, then go on to compete in two matches of pain and moaning. Not many people in Udoe's past in history have done that. Look at this. Oh! Still steps being brought into play here. These two still brewing on the outside. Oh! He's trying to use that, 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 that steel steps on the Von Creed, but Von Creed, the the master of the steel steps and countered it. We shouldn't have to remind you fans why people would say Von Creed's the master of the steel steps to come. Von Creed was the first man who ended Planet X's year-long winning streak by putting Von or me, by Von Creed putting Planet X through the steel steps with the aneurysm, which ended Planet X's streak at Only Bash in 2009. Only a two count there. And look at this one. So this we've now noticed that a so-called mysterious man who all we've all learned to be true quite possibly the man who created the master ring and gave it to the enforcer Nick Willis two years ago. For some reason, he's been following on Von Creed as of late. I mean, it just seems so convenient that right after Von Creed wins the title, he finds the man who created the master ring and the master ring creator himself has to announce the entire world oh, look at that huge corkscrew takedown walking his feet on the ropes but to no avail that rope break there of course he had to reveal to the entire world that supposedly there's a, a loophole in the master ring ruling that if someone defies the master ring of course we all know they get fired but however that rules exempt if you're a champion I don't know, folks, it just seems kind of convenient for Valkyrie to bring him in now that he's known him as champion. All of the situation going to that whole who attack teams on a bludgeon. The debate is going on about Vicious or Von Creed. Well, nonetheless, here, folks, you notice that ever since you know, Von Creed tried that corkscrew, went for that pin, Mitch has been all offense. That also brings me to another point, folks. The referee actually did spot that rope break and actually was able to uh, kick, you know, kick out of that illegal pin. You never really see here in the UWA. They always, for some reason, miss that pin attempt. But nonetheless, here, Von Creed trying to mount momentum back and take down Mitch. Oh, and once again, this is Lutez Press. Mounted punches, repeated shots. Taking him back up. And Von Creed realizes he's going to have to do the damage here if he wants to take out the chosen one, Mitch Watterson. Oh, my. Broke his neck right there. Modified gory neck breaker there. He's going to capitalize and get a pin here. Good, it's only a two count. Another 
match, but this is a, for the No Limits Championship. This is no disqualification. Remember, the No Limits title is on the line. And of course, as we all know by now, the No Limits Championship is always on the line. As I was saying momentarily about how the, the debate is going on, where was truly either Von Creed or Vicious who attacked Tombstone that bloodshed. Well, put on, folks, if you saw what happened on the last episode of Assault, it's a 47. We have now learned that Guy Fieri will host his Food for Thought program at Pandemonium, and the man who who said he has footage to definitively prove who attacked his star with the lights went on back at bloodshed. That man will come forward with the new footage and probably shed some light on this ongoing debate. And look at, oh, wait a minute, look at this! That mysterious man getting on top of the ropes, and Mitch Walsh just boots him off the apron there. I mean, this man is not a wrestler, it's probably he's got him getting himself self involved in this match. And look at this, Mitch is stretching along the ball through the steps in the ring. Yeah, you said it rocked on me. I don't think he even saw it at all. He was too busy taking on the mysterious man. And Von Creed capitalized. He knew exactly where he wanted to go, what he wanted to do. He threw still stuff in the ring. And now look at this. Mitch Watterson motionless. He doesn't know where to go, where he is. Oh, my. He trips right over the still steps and goes face plants himself. Oh, my. This is what I mean, Von Creed. No, come on. Please. Don't do this! Don't put him right through his still step, please, Mike! You're gonna break his neck! Oh my! Oh my goodness! Look at Mitch! Wait a minute, pops him out of nowhere as if he was not even thinking! And look at this! And he hits the chosen bomb on the still steps! My goodness! Mitch Walton's guy has his one in the bag after that one, folks! It's over! Wait a minute! And Von Creed somehow managed to kick out the chosen bomb through the still steps. Those moves like that that allow Mitch Watson to defeat badass Jimmy Hyman to retain his Nomis title back at square but spare. That's exactly why they call him the chosen one, folks. He will not die. And Von Creed is learning that the hard way. And, you know, he probably thought going into pin and he's going to have an easy road going anyone challenging Vicious. And he's learning the hard way. That's not going to be the case here. Oh my! I, I mean, he might be thinking. Oh wait a minute, folks! Go for another pin here. That bulldog on the steel steps just can do it. And not enough. But Rock, do you think Von? Do you think it's running through Von Creed's mind that he has to borderline do what he had to do to put to put you know plan X away? Do you think that's he's at the facing the same obstacle he is today? But for Mitchell Watterson. Easily possible. Oh, look at this. Wait, Vicious coming out of the crowd here. They're attacking that mysterious man. I know what the reason behind this is. And so much for Vicious not inserting himself to Mitch Watterson's dismay here tonight. As he, of course, you can see Mitch crack those 50 pounds of steel steps across the face of Von Creed. At least so far, it's not distracting Mitch or Von Creed's match at least. But I got to get an opportunity in. Vicious foot for taking down that creator of the Master Ring. Easily taking him out of the equation here tonight. And look at this as he as Vicious has him on his shoulders. Oh, he's right in front of us. And look at this. Oh my! Just power upon him through the announcement as the, the announcement explodes underneath the weight of the mysterious man. And Mitch Watson in the ring taking down Von Creed, being too explosive over the champion. And look at this. Oh, look at this. Now Mitch Watson's got the attention of Vicious. Oh, wait a minute. V Mitch, turn around. Mitch, turn around. Oh, my goodness. Von Creed opportunistically taking down Mitch with those steps. So much for this. Oh, wait a minute. Mitch Watson to be able to kick out. Of Von Creed's opportunistic attempt at retaining his championship. I knew I was right, folks. Von Creed's just definitely asking himself, what does he have to do? Ugh! Tornado DDT out of the corner. I don't think that's going to do it. I mean, come on. I mean, Mitch has already gone through the steel steps multiple times here. Von Creed. Oh, my God. He's, this is what I fear. He's, 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 if he can't beat a man to a three, he feels like he has to kill them. My God, goodness, I mean, we have policies here in the UWA. Oh, my. No, you can't be trying this again, Von Kree. You're going to kill him for sure. No, please not again. Oh, my God. This time his face went straight into it. 
That's all she wrote, folks. Oh.